A Short History of Ephesus Ephesus was an ancient Greek city on the coast of Ionia, three kilometres southwest of present-day Selçuk in Izmir province, Turkey. It was built in the 10th century BC on the site of the former Azawan capital by Attic and Iowan Greek colonists. During the classical Greek era, it was one of the 12 cities of the Iowan League. The city flourished after it came under the control of the Roman Republic in 129 BC. The city was famed for the nearby temple of Artemis, completed around 550 BC, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Among many other monumental buildings are the Library of Celsus and a theatre capable of holding 25,000 spectators. Ephesus was one of the seven churches of Asia that are cited in the Book of Revelation. The Gospel of John may have been written here, and St Paul has also visited Ephesus three times. The city was the site of several 5th century Christian councils. The city was destroyed by the Goths in 263, and although rebuilt, the city's importance as a commercial centre declined as the harbour was slowly silted up by the Kachuk Menderis River. It was partially destroyed by an earthquake in AD 614. Ephesus is listed as one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Hi everybody, Zara from PWN. I hope you're having a great day. This is going to be a four part session and each one is going to be a focus session on four of the places that I visited recently in Turkey. The first session is going to be on Ephesus and I'm going to be asking very specific questions with regards to Ephesus. So let's turn 587 on and let's see what comes through. Verdammt nach Kuala Lumpur, die meisten von Ihnen Niederländer. In Utrecht hat das Team aus internationalen Ermittlern jetzt seine Erkenntnisse zum Flug MH17 vorgeschrieben. Schon Low spirits. Morgen. It's actually afternoon. How are you? Anna, are you around? If you hate me, I love you. Many spirits that are around, can you please convert, confirm the name of my rabbit? Can you confirm the name of my rabbit? I'm going to ask you some questions. Is this okay? Besonders 
Now the first question. Can you tell me where I've just come back from? Can you tell me where I've just come back from? Can you tell me the name of the town I was in? Can you tell me the name of the town? Can you tell me the name of the place I'm doing this session on? Can you tell me the name of the place? Can you tell me the name of Cleopatra's sister? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me, was she murdered? Was she murdered? I think I heard you say yes. Can you tell me, is Ephesus one of the ancient wonders of the world? Just to repeat the question, is Ephesus one of the ancient wonders of the world? Can you tell me, was the Temple of Artemis originally built in Ephesus?
Was it built in Ephesus? Is the modern name of the town Selchuk? Which century was Ephesus founded? Can you tell me the number? Can you tell me if it was AD or BC? Can you tell me what is the name of the church near or in Ephesus? Can you tell me which saint has been rumoured to visit there? Can you tell me who lived on the hillside near Ephesus? Can you tell me the name? I'll give you her first name, it's Mary. What's her last name? Mary, that's right. What's her last name? Is there anything you'd like to tell me about it? Would you like to tell me anything about Ephesus? I'm going to go now, spirits. Can you say goodbye? Okay. I'm going to close this down in five, four, three, two, one.
Goodbye, spirits. Goodbye. So that was the focus session on Ephesus. If I have received any of the relevant answers, you'll be able to see that on the screen. Part two is going to be conducted with regards to Miletus. Part three is going to be on Apollo's temple. And part four is going to be on the tree of Halicarnassus. I do apologise if I haven't pronounced that correctly. So until the next part, as always guys, stay truthful and stay honest. Goodbye. Bye. Hi guys, this is just a, a little add-on to the video. After hearing Vincent a few times, um, with the help of Glenn, I did actually look up uh, the name Vincent and if there was a connection to Ephesus. And what you'll actually see on the screen as I'm talking is um, what I found. Could this be a connection? I really don't know. It could have just been a random name that was thrown out there. I thought it was quite interesting um, to see that there is a name Vincent in connection with Ephesus. At the end of the day, we can only guess if there is a connection that's great, that just adds to the evidence that with the answers that I received from this session. Um, if not, it's interesting. I just thought you might like to know this little piece of information that I had a look afterwards. Okay, take care guys. Bye.